going on everyone it's Kyle here with gnarly knives and today we're going to be talking about the USSF K bar that's right the United States Space Force K bar K bar just came out with this a few months ago um, I was lucky enough to just get my hands on it I picked it up about a week ago um, and you know usually I'll do like a, I'll do a first impressions and I'll do a full review um, I'm not necessarily going to do that with this knife. This knife, I'm pretty much just going to leave as is. I really got it more for novelty. I just think it's really cool. It is a full, you know, your standard K-bar. It's just obviously got some different colors to it. Um, I do have a couple K-bars here I'll be using as example and as examples and some talking points. Um, but overall, this is really just what it's going to be, this one video here. I mean, I'll probably bring this up in other videos, probably show it in other videos. Um, but as far as dedicated videos... I'm going to probably just stick with this one here for this knife. I mean, of course, if I do a future video about K-bars in general, of course, this will be featured in it as well. Because it's just a very cool knife. It's um, I feel like K-bar probably did it, you know, again, just as the novelty. Because, of course, they have the infamous, what everybody knows them for, is the USMC K-bar. They also make um, a version for the Army, the Navy, um not sure if they have a Coast Guard one. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen that. Um, but if anybody does have one or knows if they make a Coast Guard version, let me know down in the, the um, down in the comments section. Because I want to get an example of each one. Because um, the two K-bars I'll be showing are both Marine ones, the standard one, and then the uh, short, the smaller version that I got when I was younger. Um, but this here, before we start going too nuts, I'll just get into the specs real quick. So this knife has an overall length of 11 and 3 quarter inches. Um, I saw on a couple sites online, they say it's 11 and 7 eighths. Um, when I measured it, I was getting 11 and 3 quarters. I mean, not that big of a deal. Um, everywhere's got different information, but that's why I measured it, and that's what I came up with. It has a 7 inch blade, so right from the cross guard up to the tip is 7 inches. And then you can kind of see here, there's this little, uh, he's called Ricasso area is about a half of an inch so you do have a six and a half inch cutting edge but it is a seven inch blade and then of course you have you know they call some people call it blood groove i like to refer to it more as a fuller um, and then also it is a clip point and you got that nice swedge and it is a very nice attractive knife and then of course the handle is four and three quarter inches which is actually a really good size because even with my hand right up to the cross guard I mean this side you can see a little bit poking out but where my actual fingers are I mean there's probably I would say a good almost an inch at least three quarters of an inch so if you have smaller hands of course you'll be good if you have larger hands you'll definitely be alright um, if you're Andre the Giant it might be a little small for you um, but it's very comfortable. I do like this a lot. The handle material, of course, is different. Um, so the ones, like I said, I have the USMC versions. Um, K-Bar does have multiple different versions of these, you know, in different colors, um, handle material, and sheet style, everything like that. So this is, I do not know the name of it, um, but it is a synthetic material. It feels very much like rubber. Um, and it does give you a good grip in the hand. Like, you can definitely feel, so even if my hands were wet or, you know, it's hot, you're sweating, um, have the blood of your foe in your hand, you don't have to worry about it sliding around. It does give you really good grip. And you might be able to make out a little bit. There is, you know, some decent little texturing on it. So it, it definitely it fills out the hand very nice. And it does give you a good amount of grip and traction, so you don't have to worry about it sliding around. Because it does not have a lanyard hole, which is, for me, I do not really use lanyards. Uh, but I know for some people, they do prefer having lanyards or the option to. So, I mean, I suppose if you were determined enough, you could probably drill through it and make your own lanyard hole. I haven't found that to be necessary, but just bringing up the overall point, just of how well it does fit in your hand. And then with that nice grip from the rubber handle... It very much allows you to not really have much cause for concern of this sliding out of your hands. So that is definitely a nice thing. Um, then also, too, you can probably tell, because I know typically the other K-bars, they all have a black coating. 
Um, so this, it is a rubber, co um, a rubber, it is a gray coating. So it is kind of cool. It does kind of give you a little bit. Of, it does look a little bit like steel, you know, because so that's something I guess kind of cool. It, um, the other ones I've seen of K-Bars, they're generally a black coating, but they do coat them for a reason. Um, I'm sure very much of it, you know, especially when they were issued with military, especially World War II is when they were most famous. Uh, I was doing a little reading. I guess um, they stopped being standard issue around the time of Korea. Um, but I know that they are still very popular. Actually, a guy I work with, I was showing him some pictures of this, and he was in the Marines, you know, well after Korea. Um, uh, he was in the Marines about 10 years ago, and he has a K-Bar that he got when he was in the Marines. I think he bought. So they're not standard issue, but I know that a lot of Marines still carry them, as I'm sure a lot of other soldiers in general, because it's a very iconic knife, and for very good reason. It's, you know, it's a very damn near indestructible knife. You can see some crazy videos of people on YouTube beating the hell out of these things. And it's amazing for how much it holds up for, because it's not a full tang knife. It does have a full, I'd say, stick tang, because you can see here in the back, in the center, so that is how wide the tang is. And not that you'll be able to really see it on camera, but you can see where the blade meets the cross guard. You can see... It's not even so much a gap. You can just see where they've rounded off the edge a bit. But you can see where the tang itself is on the blade. And it is the, about the same width. It might be tapered just a small amount. Um, but generally, you know, stick tangs, not as strong. Not, you can't still do some stuff with them. But, you know, generally considered not as strong as a standard full tang blade. Where the handle just, where the blade tang is the full length and width of the handle the whole way through. Um, so they do a really good job with how they make them and treat them. I believe they treat the steel, they, the heat treat, I believe it's in the 56 to 58 range. So it's a little softer, say, than a lot of other ways they'll treat 1095, which is the steel, if I had mentioned it, is 1095 Crovan. Um, we can get into that a little more in a minute. Uh, but they, it is very well secured, not worried about the handle coming off or anything. Because along with being attached in, and it does run through, it doesn't look like it's peened over or anything. So it looks like it's slid on, probably friction fit. You should be able to see here. I'm trying to get it to... Um, but right here you can see the light's catching a little bit. There is a steel pin that goes through into where the stick tang meets the back of the pommel. It doesn't run the whole way through, but it runs through the, hand, the tang and probably a little ways into the handle so it has a nice secure fit um, and they're definitely in there pretty strong um, I mean one of the K-Bars I have I actually got yesterday but the other one I did get my father got me when I was probably 12 or 13 years old and that is still in there rock solid um, oh and that was another thing too was same with the Crow Van um, so for anybody who, you know really is interested on the steel side of things so basically 1095 and 1095 Crow Van very very similar um the crow van just means it's chromium and vanadium they add small amounts of chromium and vanadium into the steel during the you know smelting process when they're making the steel um now i know it, it sounds like oh well it has some chromium in it i have not found that it makes any difference when it comes to rust prevention because that's one of the you know big things that is used to make stainless steel knives is chromium but the amount of chromium that's in it, it's, I think, just geared more towards giving the knife a little better edge retention, um, as well as the vanadium, because those two will be eaten up by the carbon in the steel and make those really nice carbides that we love so much that give us those nice, strong, durable edges. Um, but 1095 is a great steel. It is very tough steel. It's an old steel. It's been around a long time. Um, I tried to look up, I mean, I'm sure I could do some more research. I don't know if that's what it's always been, if they've always used 1095 in their K-Bars. Um, but I know that's kind of K-Bar standard steel that they use on pretty much everything. I mean, I also have a Becker BK-2. Um, the BK is Becker and K-Bar. Um, but that's also the 1095 Crovan. Um, but I, like I said, I, I do have several knives now that are in 1095, and I have probably four or five now in the 1095 Crowman. They'll both rust very easily, um, you know, hence the coating. But, I don't know, I think that's kind of cool, you know, it adds a little bit. Um, 
you know, I think probably just more for a little bit of edge retention. The vanadium might add a bit of toughness to it, but it's very small amounts. Um, probably not perceivable to most people. I mean, if you gave me one of each, I probably wouldn't tell the difference just using them. Um, but it's just something cool to know. But it is, like I had said a couple times, it is your standard classic K-Bar. And I'll actually bust out. So this is the one I got yesterday. Um, and this is the standard one. This is the one everybody knows and loves. Everybody in all the war movies, granddad or father probably carried one of these. Um, so this is it here. So this is the standard one. And it's cool because they do very much, you know, keep a tradition. Um, so, of course, the original one, you know, the first thing you notice is the black handle or the black blade and the brown handle. Now, the brown on the handle, it's cool. You can see all those. Of course, the black lines, you can see all the lines that make up each section. It's a stacked leather handle. And it's cool. It's I, I love leather, and I love I love smelling it, the sheath, too. I just I love that leather smell. Um, but this is the same knife. They are, of course, identical. Um, but they kind of, you know, because that's part of that classic K-Bar image. You know, at least to me, I think, is just having those slits down the handle, that shape and everything. You know, so you are getting just a cool, you know, like I think, a novelty version of the knife. Um, you know, it... It could be something, maybe one day, if, um, you know, K-Bar maybe gets a contract. I don't know if they're going to be issuing these to, um, you know, the Space Force. If they do, you know, that would be kind of cool, I, I guess. Um, you know, because it's not a very heavy knife. Um, I may or may not have mentioned it. It's about 11 ounces um, without the sheath. And with it, it's probably, you know, because I have the standard the want the standard sheath i have the sheath that it comes with it's a polymer sheath you know i mean i'm not good at just you know guessing but you know probably the 11 ounces and then with the sheath probably adds another three or four ounces um so who knows it could be something that they when they send them off into space you know they might need a good knife and i i think it'll be good for it. it's tried and true um but it is very cool and what i think is really silly or interesting as well because everybody knows they um you know that's where they do the might be able to see let me get some light and kind of pick up a little bit but it has the usmc the all of the versions are pretty much the same the army one just says u.s army the navy one will have usn and then of course on the sheath themselves because they have the leather sheaths but this has you know the symbol of marines the eagle globe and anchor the usmc the army it'll be the same the navy will be the same just with their own emblems and they'll either say U.S. Army, U.S.N. Um, but very cool. Um, I mean, I just grabbed this one because it's that, you know, classic standard. But I do plan on getting all of them just, you know, because I have issues with buying multiples of the same things. Um, but so it says on the one side the USMC on the classic and then K-Bar in Ole, New York, where it's made. Um, what's funny, what I think is funny but also very cool is on the USSF version... It has USSF. Actually, I'll bust out a flashlight here to kind of help see a little better. Oh, it's not helping much. Um, so you can see the USSF, and then on the other side, it just says K-Bar. It doesn't have the only New York. But what's kind of cool is, if you can kind of pick up a little bit here, the font. The font on it is the NASA font. Especially when you see the A. You see it's that A without the, the slash through it. I just thought that was kind of cool. You know, k I think they definitely do have a good sense of humor. It is a very cool knife. It's very interesting. Um, you know, like I said, we're getting with the sheaths. So with the sheaths, they are a polymer sheath. I do not believe they are Kydex. Um, but it has very good retention in it. Um, it definitely clicks in. And then you, of course, have the strap. The straps here, they're made, the strap and the uh, belt loop are made with nylon. They do also add this here, so I suppose if you want to do like a drop leg, and then you do have tons of the grommets and everything, so you very much could if you really wanted to look badass. You could run some string through the bottom here, you know, tie it to your leg or whatever. Um, but it is really nice because they also, they give you a lot of options with it, you know. So, of course, if you, you have molly, anything like that, it is molly compatible. And then the grommets, if you want, you know, either for lashing it down or a lot of people like to do it. I've done it on some sheaths. You know, but it'll string power cord through, and you can probably fit, 
you know, depending on how tightly you're winding it, you know, anywhere from, you know, say, 8 feet of paracord, maybe 10 feet, you know, and some people you can even add more, they'll add the little, like, twists that'll come down a few inches and stuff, and it'll be like another foot or two worth of, um, of paracord, or, I mean, whatever you can fit through it, really, it doesn't have to be paracord, that's just what the, you know, what everybody typically uses, it is a good steel, a uh, good steel, it is a good, uh, cord, it is good cordage. What I think is pretty cool, too, is the fact that, you know, I think K-Bar, you know, like I said, you know, kind of the novelty, all this and that, um, and I think very much, too, you know, I mean, me as, you know, a knife collector, reviewer, user, all that, this is something that, you know, like I said, it's, it's something I'm having more for, you know, display, I think it's kind of cool, you know, some people I've shown have gotten chuckles out of it, but I think it's K-Bar also just kind of acknowledging that, hey, you know, we make these for other branches of the military, and, you know, this being a new branch, you know, all-inclusive, and I, don't know, I think that's pretty cool of them, you know, it, I think it would be cool if you could get a leather version, I mean, you can do leather all different colors, if you could do it in gray, you know, like a gray leather I thought would be kind of cool, um, of course, there's, you know, plus and minuses with that, I know I feel like nowadays a lot of things, you know, if you want leather, you can, of course, find things in leather, but I feel like as standard, um, well, not necessarily standard issue, but standard items, you know, things aren't quite as leather, or quite as much using leather nowadays, um, just because, you know, I guess technology advances better things, you know, I mean, leather's something that you can, of course, treat, it does require maintenance, you know, um, you know, I always treat my leather sheaths, and of course, too, the handle's leather, so the handle will need some maintenance, you know, you want to keep it from, you know, as it ages, you know, the metal, uh, the leather can shrink, it can crack, and it just start coming apart, and of course, you don't want that, um, so I can understand why a lot of, um, K-Bars, aside from their standard ones, they also sell other ones in the same general idea, I mean, this, of course, you know, the Grand Blue 4, um, the Space Force, but they also have the ones you can get. It's black polymer sheaths. They have the black polymer, um, the black rubber grips on them, all black knife. You know, so kind of sticking with, you know, what's modern, more, you know, I guess even for like the tactical people. I mean, the colors of this don't make it very tactical, but I don't know, I guess maybe in space, you know, it fits in with, um, you know, if you're standing in front of the, the sun or something, or in the sun, if you're standing by Earth or whatever, they won't. You know, the, the blue will blend in with the ocean. Um, but I, I think that's probably one of the reasons, too, though. I think it would be a nice option if they did have a leather variant. Just, I don't know, just for the coolness sake of it. Because I generally, I just like, you know, it's more old school. And I like, too, that leather ages. You know, so it does give you a nice aesthetic. So, I mean, showing the new one I just got, you know, it's still, you know, brand new. I haven't treated it yet. I just love that smell. Uh, but then if you compare it to this one, so I was 13 when I got it, so I have had this for about 17 years. So you can see, you kind of compare them to each other, how much lighter the new one is versus the old one. And even the handles, you know, are definitely, especially on the camera, the my older one looks almost black. Um, but it's just with age, and, you know, of course, too, especially with the sheath. I mean, once you treat it, it will darken it. Um, but it's just something that adds to, a, you know, that character, it makes it more yours, more individual, you know, and, um, with this, my old one here, it's funny, because I always, when I was younger, it always felt like it was so much bigger, this is something that's just been kind of been, the last few years, kind of the bottom of the knife pile, just, you know, I've gotten newer and newer things, but, you know, since I discovered this came out, and then when I finally ordered it a week ago, and then, you know, just picked up the other one yesterday, uh, but it's just kind of, you know, a nice touch, you know, it just, it kind of just reminiscing, you know, when I was a kid, thought this was the coolest thing, um, and they do also offer these in smaller versions, um, I haven't seen, I'm not aware if they're going to make a small version of the USS FK bar, um, I mean, of course, this, I might be able to see a little bit, but it has the embossing on it, you know, because this is just the mini variant of this one, so it's the exact same knife, it's just smaller, um, this one is a 5-inch blade, whereas the standard K-Bar and the USSF, the Space Force one, 
are both seven inch blades. Um, so I don't know if they will do that. If they do, that'd be pretty cool. I'd probably pick one up. I, I know I would pick one up. Um, it's just very interesting, you know, but I really hope you guys got a good info out of this. Um, it is really a cool knife. Um, uh, before I go, I just wanted to mention, so I don't know if these are going to become a standard thing, if they're going to continue making them. When I was looking for them, I had a little bit of trouble finding one. Um, you know, I usually start off like Amazon, Blade HQ. They were not on Amazon when I looked a week ago. I did look today. They are on Amazon now for a hundred. Um, I went on Blade HQ. They were out of stock. They were selling them for 85. I also went to Knife Center. They had them, but they were out of stock. Like they carry them, but they're out of stock. They were also for 85. I picked this up for 75 off of um, Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Um, but it wound up being close to 85 with, um, you know, the shipping and tax and everything. But what I did see on there, so if you're buying, if you're buying a couple of them or if you're buying a few knives, um, I saw that it was either a hundred or $120 once you spend, then it's free shipping. So if you're getting something over there anyway, just throw one of those in your cart and you'll get it for 75 bucks. Because like I said, on Amazon, they do have them in stock on Amazon, um, but they are going for about a hundred bucks. You know, so that would be up to you. Um, I mean, if I couldn't find them anywhere else, but Amazon had them for a hundred, yeah, I would have just grabbed it there. Uh, but they didn't have it so at the time, but now they do, so that is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so roughly you're gonna be looking, you know, the seventy-five to a hundred dollar range, more or less, um, if you are looking to pick one of these up. Um, so you know, it's about that same price. I mean, where you find most of the standard K bars, or just the K bars in general, I. I don't think I've ever really seen them up around 100 bucks. They're usually in like the 75 to like $90 range, depending on, you know, the variant and this and that. But, you know, but it's new. So, I don't know. On the K-Bar website, they were actually sold. That's the first place I went now that I think about it. So, yeah, on the K-Bar website, they were selling it for 111 So, actually, I guess in a sense, you'd still be saving money if you go off Amazon. At least at the time of posting this video. Um... But they were out, so I don't know. That was made me nervous initially. Um, but I, like I said, I was able to find one. Um, if it is something that you do want, I would really recommend probably sooner rather than later. Just because I don't know if they're going to continue making it. They very well could. You know, so if you're watching this video several months or a couple years after it came out, let me know in the comments if they're still making it. Um, but, you know, I mean, I'm sure I'll probably mention, I'll, you know, because I'd like to keep an eye on different knives, even if they're ones I already own, you know, because sometimes I'll find it'll be relevant in videos, so who knows, maybe a year from now I could be doing another video and just throw in that they're still making it. I hope they do, it is cool, um, but if not, I mean, I'll definitely make it more collectible, not that I'd ever sell it, but I guess when I'm gone, you know, uh, my girl and the kids could probably get a few extra bucks for it. Um... I mean, that's pretty much everything there. I mean, without rambling too much more than I already have and repeating myself too much more than I already have. Um, I really hope you guys did like this video. Um, I really encourage you to like, comment, subscribe. Please share the video especially. Um, we're really coming up on 100 subscribers. Um, I checked earlier today. We're at 99. So just if you can get one more person, or if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, please, so we can hit 100. Um, and then, of course, you know, that post notification bell and everything so you can guys get... Um, more updates when I'm doing more videos, but thank you guys for sticking around, or for coming along and sticking around, if you're still with us here at the end of the video, I know we're coming up on like 24 minutes, I know my videos always go long, I'm very much a talker, I do apologize for that, I just get really excited, I love talking about this stuff, um, but yeah, keep carving, stay sharp, peace.